Hello, YouTube. Hi. Aaron and I, it's so excited to be here, are back for yet another q and A. I I have no idea what number we're up to. I think we broke 10 by now. Yeah, we did five tonight. Again, yeah. same clothes. All right, let's let Aaron take this one since he does such beautifully with it. Yeah. All right, so this comes from a guy named Dirk Von Eck. Dirk Von Eck? Uh, sure. Sure, why not? Hey, here he has two questions from us. All right, go for it. Where do you get your foreign boxes? Wizards. Yep. Uh, because it seems like they're in... Because it seems here in Germany you can't get them at all. Which pretty much sucks. It does suck. It does. Um, we... Okay. We can't sell boxes overseas. So you can't buy English boxes from us or foreign boxes of any sort. Foreign boxes come from Wizards. Wizards allocates us usually one Chinese, two Japanese, one Korean, one Russian, every set. Sometimes Spanish. Sometimes Spanish. No Spanish. Sometimes French. No Spanish this for Theros, though. But that's it, Wizards. It's like a one-time shot. Sometimes you can get a small restock. That's it. Yep. All right, next question. <laughs> what happens to product that a distributor can't use or has too much of? Would you like to take this one? Uh, we sell it to you. We do. Yep. We buy it at the cheap. Yep. Um, M12 boxes, distributor sitting on crap tons of them. We bought probably like 400 boxes, I think, total maybe. A lot. A lot. We bought a shit ton of boxes. And we sold them at $70 a box. Yep. This so is good. They sold really fast. I mean, $70 magic boxes. But yeah. to answer a little bit further, distributors will sit on product. They don't care. They will sit on it endlessly. It's a tax write off in the end if they have to do, trash it, do whatever. Um, and they wait for stores like us to come along and see the fact they've got thousands of M12 boxes, we make a bid for it, and not really a bid, but we make an offer on it. They either say yes, say no. Usually they say no because they don't care about sitting on product. Someday M12 might blow up. You know, you never know. I doubt it. I doubt it, but yeah. it might. Most, almost all Magic product goes way up in price. Now if you're talking about non-Magic product, they do summer sales where they just fire sell a lot of stuff and people usually buy it up. So that's really, that's really the only thing I can answer on that one. But. Yep. This one's in depth. Here you go. Ah, crap. <laughs> All right. Uh, great web vibes you got. Thank you. We'll okay. Try. In the process of starting a new store in California. Well, I already hate you because I'm stuck in Ohio and you're in California. It also sucks to ship to California. God, California's so expensive. Why is it so expensive? Expensive to ship to. Okay. Uh, number one, you mentioned in the first video talking about distributors. You could go over. Wait. You could go over that and specify distributors to avoid or go through and why. Actually. I can't. Uh, again, distributors watch my videos, but that's not, that's not exactly it. I will be completely transparent about my company because I don't care, but I cannot be transparent about the operations of other companies that I'm involved with because that's not really, that's not up to me to do. Um, I would love to tell you all of that, but I can't. I will help you decide which distributor to pick based off of your business needs and what you're looking for. Like if you're gonna do non-trading, if you want the walking card ga uh, game, walking dead, trading card game or board games, go to Alliance. We can tell you that. that. Kit is awesome. Kit from Alliance, Kit Anderson, we love you. Yep. Um, but that's it. I, I can't, I, can, I really can't do more because I don't, it's not my, it's, it's not really my place. So I'm sorry about that because it's not really my business at that point, you know. Um, two, I don't care what this one is, Aaron has to answer it. Uh-oh. We were planning on spending around $10,000 for startup inventory covering Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. Do you think that is enough if you are starting from basically zero inventory? Oh, man. Um, I do have about 20,000 Magic cards, a couple of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and a few hundred Pokemon cards. But the majority is bulk and not worth much. I was planning on just buying booster boxes of all three games and cracking half them for singles and selling the other half for sealed packs slash boxes. We also plan to spend about $5,000 on other stuff, boxes, sleeves, whatever. Um, total $15,000 in inventory. Now, they're starting. If you have bulk, don't even count that. Nope. Don't even count that because nope. you're going to be selling that to people like us at $5 a box. Yep. So go for it, Aaron. What do you think? Uh, what? We crunch some numbers while we do this. Our, our startup was around $20,000. Our $20,000 yeah, $20, yeah. is what we used, but we had one insane magic collection yeah, on top of we, that. We had to. Uh, well, we basically got a collection for free because that guy still hasn't picked up his money yet. And it's been two years. He just wants free pre-releases and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. So basically, we got a free collection to sell to people, which is awesome, because it was worth about, I don't know, ten thousand dollars. I shouldn't have said that because we gave him a number, and it's 
Well, maybe Aaron's he, just lying to you. Yeah, yeah, maybe he's not watching. He's not so, watching. All right, Don't it was him. worth about uh, uh, ten dollars, and um, it At has, best. yep, and <laughs> it was awesome. And that's what we basically lived off of for like I don't know months, just selling that collection. And also, uh, I don't know, we bought a lot of our first uh, order with I don't even remember who it was. Was sweet. We had a lot of stuff. Oh my god! Yeah, re stocking up was so exciting. It was like Christmas. Oh my god! It's it was so fun. So but many boxes. This is how many boxes. If you took five grand and bought just boxes, this is how much you would get. So they're they're talking about cracking this much for inventory and half mm -hmm. for sale. You crack just as much of Theros. That's not. That's not much. Like okay, sixty six point six boxes at five thousand dollars. Six no sixty six boxes. You can do it in one set of magic. Depending on how popular it is, like, yeah, we, yeah six six boxes of Theros, not much. Now for a start, you would spread that out. Let's see if you're going to do standard right now. If you did standard, which standard's at the smallest it possibly can be? That's what five sets. So you're yeah. looking at eleven boxes. Oh, sorry, I did send a text at first when he was talking. <laughs> then, um, that's what like eleven boxes per set. It, it's not bad. It's not a lot, like at all. That's, it's, oh, that's if it's just magic, too. He's got to spread it over Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. Yeah. You're looking yeah. at, like, five boxes a set. We just started with magic. Yeah, just magic. We had we, a nice collection. We didn't do Pokemon for, like, a year, and then we're actually going to eBay all our Pokemon cards probably this week. Cause yeah, probably. Pokemon's been dying in this area. Sealed yeah. product Pokemon's been better. That's a different thing, but... Yeah, I would actually recommend uh, do most of it for opening for singles and just keep your shelves with only like one or two boxes. Now, Yu-Gi-Oh! is different. Yu-Gi-Oh! is a one-time print run. Yep. So when Yu-Gi-Oh! runs out, it's gone. So maybe stock up in some of those boxes, but carry just two boxes of magic. If you run out, order more. Also, if you can, see what's popular in your area. If, I mean, if Pokemon's popular, get Pokemon. If magic is, get magic. But otherwise, I mean, if there's no card stores in your area, just... Try and get your name out. My Little Pony. And just hope for the best. Yeah. I mean, if there's, a, if there's nothing, then you're going to get a lot of people, hopefully, from all kinds of different games. And like, you're going to look more impressive if you have more singles than sealed product. Like the guy in Canada with Kaijudo. Kaiju, oh my god. Kaijudo is really weird here. It's not very good here. No one cares. I bought an uncut sheet of Kaijudo promos for $175. That's insane. Yeah. Like, I can actually cut those cards out and make, like, four times the value if I wanted to. It's, Kaiju does a weird thing. All right, next yeah. up, Aaron, you have to answer this as well. Did we finish that question? Um, basically, do you think he's enough? No. I don't think it is. I don't think but so. But if you do it off the, the 10000 by the way, $5,000 in, like, boxes, sleeves, binders, you're going to realize that's not much. No. We do $5,000 reorders, and I put it on the wall, and I'm like, where in the hell did our five grand go? Happens all the time. Now, yeah. we're talking about for a start, that's fine. For a start, you can probably maybe get away with that, but just keep in mind, if you're only going to crack $10,000 worth of three games, which is only $3,000 a game, crack most of it, go small with sealed products. Because if it's $75 sitting, you know, a box sitting on the shelf, that gets eaten up fast. All right, number three. Again, you have to take this. One. I kind of, I keep, I keep interrupting you. I'm sorry. I mean, you just uh -huh. like he's got number three and number three. You can take number three A. I'll take number three B. Okay. All right. So number three A. Do you think it's worth spending the extra money to buy old sealed product? I'm just gonna say no right there. No. Nope. Okay, I'll finish the question real quick. It's cool. Yeah, it is awesome. We, um, we bought a boxes in the car, and it was gone. Gone like week. that. We didn't make much. I made like sixty bucks, but yeah, but right. it's still better than a yeah, normal profit for. That's a lot better. Let's see, okay, no one sells sealed product more than a couple years old. It'd be cool to have, but when it cost me four, or about $400 to buy one booster box from an older set. Let's see, um, do you ever think people that want to get blah, 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 do you think it's cracked? People love old product, Yep. but it's got to be the right price, Mark. Especially Zendikar, people like Zendikar. Yeah, our Zendikar sold at $10 a pack, and it sold pretty fast because the fetches are like $50. You get the full art lands, get the foil lands. Zendikar is sweet. Something like World Awake might sell, but... Okay. Still, the Zenicar box costs us almost three hundred dollars. Yeah, we made yeah we made sixty dollars on it. And if you're only if you're gonna be talking about for your startup costs, for love of God, no. No. I mean three hundred dollars a box. Maybe if you get it super super cheap at like a garage sale for like a dollar. Yeah, it's gonna be cheap. Like I'll buy a box of revised right now for over a grand, put it on the shelf because I'm like, sweet revised, it looks cool. Yeah. But that's not investment money. That's not startup money. So it's like it's way down the road on that one. All right, damn it, you didn't answer that one. I did. Okay. I kind of, I, I held. 
Okay, full SD card. Again, we're terrible about that. So we're going on to the last question. I'm going to read it. Aaron's going to answer it. Do you think? Do you think it's actually going to happen? Tell yourself in your head. Do you actually think I'm going to let Aaron talk the whole time? No. Okay. So number three, uh, we planned on around ten to fifteen thousand dollars startup startup cost to set up the store from an empty shell that needs carpet paint to a complete store minus any inventory. This is for a fourteen hundred square foot store. Uh, does it sound about right or too vague? Whatever. Blah blah blah. blah. Well, we can answer that based off of the 1,250 square foot store that we had when we started up. So, Aaron? Well, uh, if you don't have to pay labor, I think it's possible. Uh, it's about, what, $50 a table? Uh, how much are chairs? Like, what, 12 a piece? God, we, it was like $20 a piece, the banquet chairs. We got a good, we got them on sale, though. Yeah. Well, we just spent, what, like $300 for? We just spent. God, I don't even know. You know what? Keep talking. Uh, I'll see if I'll check see. my email. Uh, our fancy cases right here, they're about $700 a piece. Yeah, which you can build them yourself if you're good at it. So yeah. we've got $2,800 and yeah. 2800 just the ones behind us. That's not including the other ones. Yeah, we have a couple more over there, so I don't know. But you can use just normal display cases if you need, yeah. which will come in about $100 to $200 a piece for yeah, we have, get like six, eight foot long ones. We have a couple of those. Um, let's see. Our shelving, dirt cheap. It was like... Oh, the slat wall? Yeah. Well, the, the shelving was like, what? Ten dollars for a piece of wood, and then those little brackets. That was cheap. Um, uh, yeah, but they're expensive as shit to ship. Um, Slat wall running about a hundred dollars, and about a hundred dollars to ship it. Yeah. Why can I not find? Um, you might be able to get it at your local hardware store. If I mean, ours didn't have it, but no. yours might. Uh, that was safe shipping. It's can heavy. I... Have fun with that. Oh my god. Um, let's see. Our tables are about fifty dollars a piece. We have like what? How many do we have? Three, five, ten, or twelve. Fifteen tables, probably. Yeah, we have fifteen tables. So we, I should have been writing this down. I don't know the math for that. Uh, I think we're. Let's see. What else we have? You know the math for that at what? Forty dollars a piece, you said. Yeah. Fifteen to six hundred dollars, right? Yeah, so probably something like that. Plus chairs. So. I'm trying to find the chairs right now. I'm actually we're, googling where we bought it from. Let's see. Uh, we're probably close to ten thousand dollars. Just. Carpet's like a thousand, so that's included. A thousand on the cheap, if you get carpet yeah. squares. You're probably looking at like, for 1400, it depends on what you can do. Yeah. Two to three thousand dollars in carpet, if you need carpet. Yeah, but if you need special shelves, if you're doing board games or like RPGs, you're gonna need bookshelves. So, I mean, I don't know how much those are because we don't do anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you might be able to get, uh, there's slat walls, so you can do slat wall shelves, which is, I mean, the brackets aren't too bad. If you can try and find them at your local hardware store. Uh, we didn't. Uh, let's I cannot see. Well, find these there. stupid things. The slat wall looks pretty. I don't know. Could probably do it under fifteen hundred or fifteen thousand. Uh, for sure, under fifteen thousand. It gets expensive. Yeah, so fast. it gets expensive quick, uh, especially if you want to do like TVs or something. Yeah, the, the thing about it too is if you spend like ten grand getting it set, and if you ever go under, like you have all the inventory you can sell off or keep or whatever. But what the hell are you gonna do with a hundred banquet chairs? And like yeah. 60 tables, like. Yeah, it, it really just depends. I mean, 1,400 square feet. Uh, it depends on how much product you want to put in and so many tables you can hold. I found it, by the way. It's called bizchair.com. Yeah. Um, you can get the banquet chairs, which we have, if you buy a crap ton of them for, right now it's $23.99. Normally it's $50. So if you buy wow. at least 50 of the chairs, you can get them down to $23.99 a piece, which is what we did. We did it twice, actually. That's, uh, that's a lot of chairs. Yeah. Depending on how many people you want to fit in. 50 is by far reasonable. Got a plan for pre-releases. Yeah, we had 82 people. That's our highest pre-release so far. We could not fit another person in the, yeah. in the play area. But I do know that you need a minimum for um, some tournaments to have 90 people sit comfortably. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can mm -hmm. plan around that. I think that's like, what, PTQs or something? Yeah, there's like the Star City events you can do. There's the TCGs. They have a certain amount. It's 100 plus is where you want, like, if you can get up to 100 people to sit, uh, you can do the smaller events, the Star City events. Yeah. I mean, 1,400 square feet, depending on how you set that up, you can do that. Yeah. Definitely you can do that. You can't so. do any, like, uh, GPs, I don't think. I no. think you need about 200 for that one. Yeah, you want to have a store that can hold 250 plus people or a place you can rent to do it to yeah. do the highest level events. But if you can fit 100 people, if you can cram 100 people without pissing off your uh, local fire, fire marshal, oh, man. That's, that's a sweet spot. Also, think about parking. 
Oh my god, parking's a nightmare. Parking in our new place sucks. Well, it doesn't suck. It, you just have to be kind of creative. We actually have three parking spots here. <laughs> we get yelled at all the time. Yeah. Well, we have other places to park around here, so it gets complicated. Yeah, they're starting to learn. But, I don't know. I think for 15000 you can do a you lot. You can do of, some sweet stuff. Yeah, you can do some sweet stuff. I've seen, I've seen a lot of sweet shops just from pictures, and they look sweet. Yeah, I mean, they're not, if you're not talking inventory yeah. at all, yeah, it's... Just bare bones to under 10000 is very doable. If you're just doing, I don't know, depending on how many tables and chairs, very doable. Carpet's only like one to 2000 Cases, to me how fancy you want them, very doable. Which make it look good. Yeah. It's, you can literally, you can do it on the cheap, man, where, you know, you have only display cases mm -hmm. and no carpet, or you can just go expensive. There's cool ways to kind of like, to have cool things get around it. Fantasy Flight games, if you go through them, you can get a Fantasy Flight Media Center. It's an iPad. It was an iPad 1 when we got it like three years ago. But you just order from them, they give you an iPad in a case, and you can just put that into like a bookshelf, and it looks cool. And you have a little media center in your store now, and it costs you nothing. So also, there's ways to do that. You can get vending machines for free if you go through like Coke or Pepsi. Yeah, so you don't have to buy a cooler or anything like that. Yeah. You um, have to buy the pop and stuff, but that's inventory. If you can find a snack vending machine, let us know, because we can't find a snack vending machine anywhere. Pepsi hates us. Yep. Uh, Coke, Coke vending machines are a nightmare now. I would explain that right now, but really there's it's an awkward point yeah. of question and answer to talk about pop machines. <laughs> it is. Um, uh, you know. If you're getting a point of sale system, oh. by the way, expect to spend about $2,500 to $3,000. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just get an iPad. That's ours. iPad, With this. stand, PayPal here. PayPal thing. Point of sale system. By the way, these are only good for about 200 swipes, and they get super yeah. annoying to swipe it. But they so, give them to you for free. Yes. We well, should have mentioned this in the other video. God damn it. Get a bunch of these from PayPal. Uh, yeah. Just five would be good for a couple months. So we go through about one a month. Yeah, they're... Good thing they're free. They're so awesome, though. What else are we talking about? I don't even know anymore. Carpet looks sweet, though. Carpet? Yeah. I like carpet. I like carpet, too. I look, it makes it look nice. Also, uh, not yellow walls. I do not recommend I, any yellow walls. I would highly suggest you do not do yellow yeah. walls. Do, do something... More acceptable. Yeah, our gray is really boring. Yeah, but it's covered by so many posters. Yeah. And cases behind us. Yeah, but still, I mean, gray is just so boring. Do you think they're listening to us still? I don't know. What else do we have? We have uh, any more questions? It, man. Um, if you can answer any or all these, that'd be great. Appreciate any feedback or comments. I also left a, wait, I also left a hit product with a stick name idea under the, yeah, we already named that, sorry. What do we name it? Critical Hit Reviews. Oh, I haven't seen any of those videos. What the hell? Maybe I have. I don't know. I don't watch a lot of our videos. I'm not even. I'm not, I don't even know if I'm going to watch these. Aaron, employee of the month. Yeah, you know, I'm the manager. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to get going. Are we? Yeah. Oh, this is from Danny. Thanks, Danny. Wait, did Danny do this twice? This is a different Danny. See, you can tell by the email. Oh, okay. Okay. See, I told you it's okay for me to just do some of the email. Okay, bye.